Welcome to CIE Math Solutions. In this video, we will continue the series of math tutorial videos about sequences and series. In today's video, we will learn a way of finding the number of terms of an arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression given the first term, last term, and the common difference of the sequence. Welcome to another video of CIE Math Solutions. In the previous videos, we have already discussed the process of finding the specific terms of an arithmetic sequence given its general rule. We have also discussed finding the specific terms given its first three terms. We have also explored the use of simultaneous equations in finding the specific terms of a given arithmetic sequence. The playlist containing these videos, together with other math tutorial videos about sequences and series, are found on the link above this video or in the description below. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon for you to be notified when new videos are uploaded. If you have already subscribed, please watch, like and share the videos of the channel. Thank you. In this video, we will focus on finding the number of terms of an arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression given the first term, the last term, and the common difference of the sequence. But before we proceed, let us have a quick recall of the prerequisite concepts needed. First, the basic concepts of arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression. Second, the nth term formula of an arithmetic sequence or progression. For the first prerequisite, Given an arithmetic sequence containing the terms 12, 16, and 20, the numbers 12, 16, and 20 are called the terms of the sequence, and they are usually denoted by an. In this case then, a1, which is the first term, is 12, a2, which is the second term, is 16, a3, which is the third term, is 20. The arithmetic sequence also has a common difference, which is denoted by D. D here is equal to 20 minus 16 or 16 minus 12. The difference of these are the same, which is equal to 4. The common difference then of this arithmetic sequence is equal to 4. For the second prerequisite concept, the nth term formula of an arithmetic sequence is an equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. an here is the nth term, a1 is the first term, n is the rank or order of the term, and d is the common difference. If you would like to study more about these prerequisite concepts, you may click the link above this video or in the description below. Now let us use these prerequisite concepts in finding the number of terms of an arithmetic sequence or progression given its first term, last term, and common difference. For example, the first term of an arithmetic sequence is 12, and the common difference is 6. If the last term of the sequence is 90, how many terms are there in the sequence? Before we could find the number of terms of the given arithmetic sequence, let us summarize first all the given data. A1, or the first term is 12, an or the last term is 90 
and D or the common difference is 6. To find the number of terms, we will be needing the n term formula of an arithmetic sequence. An is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Let us then substitute the given in this formula. We already have an, a1, and d. So the equation then will become 90 equals 12 plus n minus 1 times 6. Distributing 6 to n minus 1, we will then have 90 equals 12 plus 6n minus 6. Simplifying the equation further, we will then have 90 minus 12 plus 6 equals 6n. That is moving all the constants on the left side. Simplifying the left side, 90 minus 12 plus 6 is equal to 84. That is equal to 6n. Dividing both sides by 6, we will then have the value of n which is equal to 14. Therefore, there are 14 terms in the arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 6, with first term 12, and last term 90. For the second example, determine the number of terms in the following arithmetic sequence. 27, 35, 43, 51, dot, 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 195. Let us identify first the given in the sequence. The first term is 27, and also the last term is 195. In this case, the common difference is not given. However, we know that in an arithmetic sequence, the common difference is the difference between consecutive terms of the sequence. We can then subtract 35 minus 27, which will give us 8. Take note that you can subtract any two consecutive terms. You will also get 8 if you subtract 43 and 35. The same case if you subtract 51 and 43, the value of the common difference will still be 8. Substituting this given now to the n term formula, we will then have 195 is equal to 27 plus n minus 1 times 8. Simplifying the equation further, 195 is equal to 27 plus 8n minus 8. And simplifying the constants or combining those constants, we will then have 195 minus 27 plus 8 is equal to 8n, which is equal to 176. Dividing both sides by 8, we will then have n equals 22. Therefore, there are 22 terms in this arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 8, first term 27, and last term 195. Now it's your turn. The first term of an arithmetic sequence is 35, the common difference is 12, and the last term of the sequence is 215. Find how many terms are there in the sequence. Determine the number of terms in the following arithmetic sequence. Negative 5, 12, 29, 46, dot dot dot, 182. If you would like to try to answer these items, please pause the video for a while, and when you are done, press the play button to check your answers. Now let us have the answers. Starting off with the first item, let us summarize the given data. First, the first term is 35, the last term is 215, and the common difference is 12. If we substitute these values to the n term formula of an arithmetic sequence, we will then have 215 is equal to 35 plus n minus 1 times 12. Simplifying this equation, 215 equals 35 plus 12n minus 12. 
we will then have 215 minus 35 plus 12 is equal to 12n, which is equal to 192. Dividing both sides by 12, the value of n then will be 16. Therefore, there are 16 terms in this arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 12 with first term 35 and last term 215. For the second item, determine the number of terms in the following arithmetic sequence, negative 5, 12, 29, 46, until 182. Again, let us identify the given. The first term here is negative 5. The last term is 182. The common difference is again not given, but we can subtract any two consecutive terms. We can then have 12 minus negative 5, which is equal to 17. We will get the same value if we subtract 29 and 12, the same case 46 and 29. Substituting these values on the end term formula, we then have 182 equals negative 5 plus n minus 1 times 17, which is equal to 182 equals negative 5 plus 17n minus 17. Combining the constants, we have 182 plus 5 plus 17 equals 17n. That is equal to 204. Dividing both sides by 17, we will then have n equals 12. The number of terms then in this arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 17 with first term negative 5 and last term 182 is equal to 12. Summarizing the answers of the items. The number of terms in the first item is 16. And the number of terms in the second item is 12. If you got the answers correct, then congratulations! You now know how to find the number of terms of an arithmetic sequence or progression given the first term, last term, and the common difference. If you did not get all the answers correct, don't worry, you can still practice for more. You may also answer the following homework. Find the number of terms in each of the following sequences. First, a1 is 31, an is equal to negative 130, and d is equal to negative 7. Second, a1 is negative 42, an is 182, and d is equal to 16. Third, 11, 3, negative 5, negative 13, until negative 173. If you would like to practice for these items, you may write down your answers in the comment section below. I will soon then reply to your comment verifying your answers. In summary, to find the number of terms of an arithmetic sequence or progression, first determine or find the first term last term, and the common difference of the arithmetic sequence. Second, substitute the values of the first term, the last term, and the common difference to the nth term formula of the arithmetic sequence, which is a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. And the third one, simplify the equation and find the value of n. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos about math proofs and derivations, math tutorial videos, solved items from international exams, math tricks and puzzles, math resources and more, please don't forget to watch, like, subscribe and share. Thank you for your continued support to CIE Math Solutions.